What is going on, Geeks Unite? The clan's here back in your life from the Building Evolved server. This is my server where I do my creative building series. If you stumbled here from a building tutorial, in this one it's going to be a little different. We take our time and we play around with some ideas, see what kind of creative things we can come up with. And we just got the Equus. And I know a lot of you guys are itching to see what I'm going to do with the new horse, the Ark Horse. Um, Arali the Geek and I already started a Wild West town out on our Patreon server. And um, while we're doing it today, stop and quick shout out for Vex, who is one of the guys that plays on that server and uh, one of my patrons. So thank you for the support. And if you're another one of my patrons, my list is too long. I think I'm going to have to start doubling you guys up as we go forward. Um, but if you are, uh, if you've been around a while, you know this. This is the world where we started Jack's Landing out here at the base of these waterfalls uh, in the center map. And for those of you that are curious, I always like to have a peek right down here. We're at like 75, 25 for our old base. We're going to be a little bit off that um, this time, but. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm inspired by, and I don't know if it's obvious yet, by my new outfit, I used to have a beard and look like a mountain man here, I don't know if it's obvious by that, or by these horses. As fun as the Wild West is, guys, these have got me in like an ancient Rome type mood, and it's a building style I've been playing with for a while, and I think it's one we want to play with today as we attempt to do... Uh, some stables or a cross between some stables and a fort. Um, so what I'm gonna do is ride you out to the area where I want to get it started and it's actually really right next to the last spot that we did a lot of uh, building and we are right around the corner from our Ovis pasture um, and I've started the the beginnings of a place uh, the beginnings of a uh, little cavalry fort for us and this is it right here so um, we're gonna wander down this way I have no idea what I'm gonna come up with for this episode and like I said this is the series where I play around a lot we mess around with different concepts different ideas and uh, and I kind of bring you guys in for all the steps of the build instead of just showing you something highly polished we go through the creative process together I know a lot of you guys have been missing this series and it's back hopefully for a while so Let's park our lead horse, the black one, up here. And you can see this whole cavalry train comes lining up. No, not quite perfectly lined up, but they're trying. Um, and uh, yeah, the Ovis pasture is out that way. Out on this rock is the mountain cabin and the elk barn. So we're, we're right in the vicinity of our old uh, playground. So today, today we're beginning with this. And what I've started with um, is just a, a lowered foundation. So uh, I wanted to get this to the point. It seems like um, the stables, the gates for a Roman fort, the foundation is always close to the ground. There's not much of a step up um, as you, uh, there's not much of a step up as you uh, uh, go in and out. So I wanted this close to the ground. If you guys don't know, like, you know, if you just place a foundation, it's going to come in here. Um, but what you can do is like, for example, I can snap off there and then let's get rid of this. And then you can actually lower foundations. So if I go over by one, all right, all right. And then I can go here and you can see even that one's slightly lower. I should be able to wreck that and go even slightly lower. And then if we wreck this and you see where we go to get a foundation, you can see it's way lower than it would have been if we just built randomly. So that's the little technique I used to get myself started here. Um, and what I have in mind is is one big building, either taking up one, two, or three sides uh, of this space, and then a wall on what is left. So I'm gonna take a look at, at, at my horses and, and my options. And ideally, I'd like the horses to be able to ride in. So uh, the pass-through for I think, by the way, we're going to take this section out. I don't know if we're going to be using it. I think I'm probably going to stop right here. And so we could probably make our stables four or five foundations across right here. I'd like a pass through that leads down towards the uh, sheep uh, pasture. So I want to get started just with some ideas. And I'm going to bring you guys back when I've got a little bit of a concept of what I'm going for. BRB. All right, guys, so uh, I think I've got a shape that I want to work with, and we're just getting started with um, fence foundations because I'm going to be building this in vanilla, and what I want to do is to be able to snap a gate here or, or don't I? So, hmm. 
I don't like, I all, I'll always have a problem with this. I don't like that, whoops, that the gate uh, sits up above the foundation. So let's actually try this and we'll try snapping it to some fence foundations on the ground. And I think I'm going to be able to make that work better. Um, so let's go do this on the other side and hopefully I can be a little more efficient with my use of fence foundations. Um, so since the last time I made a video here, guys, big things happening on the, the YouTube channel. Um, 10,000 subscribers. That is a crazy milestone. Uh, I was giddy for it for a couple of days. Now I'm in the back to business mode and trying to figure out what I'm going to do next um, to keep you guys excited and entertained and full of cool ideas. Um, but uh, 10,000 is, yeah, it's it's wild. So I want to make sure we've got these facing the same way. And I don't. So what I need to do, I actually need to take this one down, I think. Ooh, yes, I do. Okay, so let's take you down, and we'll, we'll place it from the inside, and I think that will place it properly. So let's do that. Yes, I think that's right. Okay, so this is going to be the beginning, I think, of the framework of the place, but I want to play around with some adobe walls. And while we're doing it, guys, we can talk. I think, yeah, since, since this 10K thing... Um, a few little things just seem to be changing here and there. I had, uh, I don't know, it could be random <laughs> random chance, but I think there's going to be some cool opportunities that will open up over the next little while. Uh, cool people I might get to know and things like that. And, and I'll tell you, one thing that's been crazy is Twitter. I know I'm always asking you guys to tweet um, pictures of your build designs and, and things like that at me, but it's taken off a little bit lately. It's like every day, p random people are tweeting me. I'm getting new followers. So if that's somewhere you're active, come say hi. I, uh, I'm on there. And I don't, yeah, yeah, it, it would be fun. And I actually was just playing a little Rocket League this morning, and somebody recognized me. How weird is that? My my name in there was, I think, UTC. So it's not like it's hard to recognize me. But, yeah, the, the reply I got was, hey, UTC, love your videos. I was like, what? How is that possible? People, random people discovering me out there. Um, so I want to lay out a a pointed roof shape and I think to do that right um, we needed let's get that up there we need some ceilings in place uh, so we need to tie in these ones up here because we're not using structures plus um, let me grab where are my ceilings at number seven so but I think what I want to do is try and actually place the ceilings at this height if we can get away with it okay why won't that work so that's infuriating. Okay, so let's try taking out the gate frame. We'll put these up, and now we'll try putting the gate frame back. And that'll work. God arc is weird. Okay, so what I want to do is take down this top row up here, but not without getting ourselves up there. That's not going to work, is it? Let's do this. So I'm a grappling hook man in this series. We try not to fly. We try and keep it legit. Um, but that said, I spawn in the materials I need, and when we're doing a build that requires a lot of dinos. Like if we were doing a wild horse pasture, I'm just gonna spawn in the horses we need um, because I, I love that about the series. I like taking an idea I have and trying to bring it to life. And that's what we've been doing, uh, I think since episode one. Um, but I think it's time to shift gears. When I, I last did um, my base tour in episode nine, the game plan was um, take a little time off the series. There were too many exciting things going on and I wanted a little break and to figure out maybe somewhere new and exciting to go next. I ended up going just around the corner, but I think I have a new build style that's going to be inspiring me on the regular. So we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. So what I want to do from here, where are my walls at? Okay. You should leave your hut up. <laughs> Dorcas. All right, so what I want to do from here is get uh, a little shape, maybe something like that. Okay. And yeah, let's turn the HUD on because I'm constantly needing it. And then what I think I want to do is build backwards like this. Um, and so let's say I were able to tie that in here. That means I can get rid of this and this. And I think that might be what we're going for. 
Okay, so let me do some work. I have an idea of what I'm looking for for this next chunk of the build, um, but what I wanna do is take this, duplicate it on the other side, and maybe run this ceiling up across the middle to connect both sides, and I'll bring you guys back um, once I've started to get a bit of a feel for this. Um, before you go, one thing I'll say is, since episode one, Likes have been insane on this series, uh, and I think there's episodes with over 200 likes. It might be even more than that, um, and I don't know what it is about this, but people seem to crush it. If that's you guys, if you're the one who clicked it last time in episode 9, go ahead and click it now. I'm going to take a little break, and I will be back with you guys once I've got some more built. All right, guys, so uh, the one thing that I did wrong, I think, this time around was I tried placing these walls here uh, and here. You got to do that after you're done, it looks like. Otherwise, the gate will not go into place. So what I want to do is try and get myself up there. And maybe a running start is the best way to do it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And we'll put one of these up top and one of these. All right, and lower it. Perfect. All right, and I think we can take this out, and we now have the beginnings of our build. We have the beginnings of this design. So I got to figure out exactly what we do with this section. I know I teased putting pillars in. It didn't go quite as I, I had in mind uh, the first time, but uh, one thing I'm pretty sure I know I want to do is just to wall off this backside. It is going to be almost entirely walls, and I'll tell you, there's two reasons for that. One paint for adobe does not apply the same to the walls as it does to everything else if you want to paint these boards they will not match the same paint on a window frame or a door frame and i haven't figured out exactly what we're doing paint scheme wise i think i'm gonna have to move my mammoth um but uh get this out of my inventory come on get get moving big boy perfect um I, and Roman buildings, typically, they tend not to get too much light from the outside. They're not full of big picture windows. They get light from above, usually. Now, I don't know how we're incorporating that into this, uh, but if we get into building Roman-style houses, we definitely will. We will have atriums and gardens and all kinds of things with open roofs. We're here on the center, so there's plenty of rain, which is the original reason that Roman roofs tend to have a big opening, is to collect rainwater for bathing and all kinds of other stuff. So I think what we're going to do is just simply wall this off like a so. Let me finish it up. I'll be right back. So I'm 14 across, guys. I do want to incorporate at least one doorway, and because we're 14, I think I'm going to end up incorporating two, maybe on either side of... Um, yeah, maybe on either side of this big old tree, and we'll see how that comes to pass. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five to our left. That makes this the sixth, the seventh. Okay, and that means our other one goes right here, and we should have one, two, three, four, five to the left. Okay, so we got a little bit of symmetry. Are they... You know what I think we need to do? We need to go over one. So let's go here, and we'll go here, and we'll put walls back where we had them. Something like that. Okay, so I think that gives us a good start. Now, I mentioned not getting a lot of light from the outside because, oh, we got the best light of the day. Um, because we don't have uh, an opening in the roof, I do want to get a little light from this side because you guys can see what this place looks like at this time of day. It is the most beautiful spot on the whole center map, and that's why we've picked to live here. So let's head over to this mammoth, and what we're going to do, if, you, if he'll play along, uh, is incorporate a few windows, but I really don't want to go too crazy. I need some Adobe window frames. BRB. All right, guys. So um, what I'm picturing is intermittent windows at best, and what I think I want to do, just to, to make my life easy, is go ahead and put a line down here and you know what I probably picked a bad time of day to start we're at we're at sunset and the sun does not last long here um, because well there's a giant waterfall there so the sun descends below your horizon and this giant bridge so you really only get it when it's in between those two but um yeah here let me I'll wait out till morning we'll finish this chunk when the the dawn breaks 
All right, good morning, guys. We are back. So what I was saying right before I decided it was getting too dark was I want to go ahead and do this. I think we're going to have a ceiling at this level anyway and potentially create a little attic for ourselves. I haven't figured that part out, um, but I don't want windows for uh, for days and days. So let's put those. I have two. This has been the best decision I ever made. But I moved two of my my key assignments to my mouse, and it is a game changer. I build with a speed you have never seen before. It's taken my game to a whole new level. Is this gonna work? It's not, because I have an even number. So, at some point, let's head down this end, and we'll we'll try and continue the pattern until uh, I get to the very middle here. So that would mean this one ought to be a window, and I don't want it to be. So let's go here, and we'll put a window. Hmm. So I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one here, and then we're going to come back and do walls here and here. And I think that's probably going to work for us. So do we leave these ceilings up, or do we let some of the light come through? All right, for now, let's take them down, and hopefully not anything else. I think I just demoed something. Okay, per oh, God, lag, that's what's happening. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm starting to play around with some concepts for how to do this overhang, because the real idea would be, on this side, it's still going to look like a wall. I've done it just like this, so it's easy for you guys to see, but when we get on the inside, we're going to have a sloped ceiling right there, so it would look something... Uh, if I can make it happen, it would look something like that. So how do we support this? This either needs a ceiling here or this, um, a door frame or a wall, because once that's done, we could get rid of this and this. I don't know if we need to, though, because like I said, we need this outer appearance to look like a wall. What I think I'm going to do is have a wall run all the way down here, like a so. And uh, we could add in some other buildings uh, on the outskirts of this. So I don't really need to panic about this quite yet. But I do need something in place that will support it. So with that, like that, uh, let's go with our Adobe walls. Now that that's there, I can go ahead and replace that with this. And we'll get an idea of where our wall height might be. I think we might try and make our walls three high. And maybe we'll put something on top. So that's going to be the beginning of the walls. And what I'm picturing, because it's a Roman building, I'm picturing a reddish color on the bottom and a light color on the top. And I think we're probably going to get what we want to accomplish. It's going to look great with, um, we're going to have just little hints of stone. I think I'm going to do stone pillars uh, throughout here uh, that, that kind of, so your horses will come in, they'll stable right under here, and maybe their heads will stick out into this little area. We'll see. We're going to play around with it. All right, so the reason that I haven't done anything along here yet is because I gotta figure out exactly how it's gonna look from the outside. And I think I might need to take myself another little break, guys. I'm gonna go look at some reference pictures of some old Roman buildings, and I do wanna accomplish the walls in here as well. So um, I'll come back, Well, maybe we'll do the wall, yeah, let's do the walls next. Let me play around with a little section of it uh, to get a good design, and I'm gonna come back to you guys. All right, guys, so I'm going to explain my wall concept to you. Um, I mentioned uh, red down at the bottom, and I mentioned white up here. I'm thinking now, the more that I think about it, that I might want to go four high with the walls and be at exactly the same height as my stable roof. I think that's going to work for us, and we're going to have the roof on the inside here as a drop down. So... The reason that I'm doing it this way is if this bottom one is red, that works. Sometimes though, with Roman buildings, you're not gonna have only light color going up, you're gonna have a stripe of red. And I've been thinking about how you might accomplish that. So my rough plan for the wall is to do this inside and out, basically on either side of this foundation. So we would be building up something that looks like this, and we'd be doing it on both sides. I haven't figured out exactly what we're gonna do with the top. But the key feature comes in here, and this is a feature I actually, I think I invented <laughs> back on our elk barn, which is just at a render distance. But what I want to do is put a ceiling right here, right? And we got to get ourselves up there to do this properly. So it's grappling hook time. Uh, Ba-boom. 
first try? Not really. So once you're up here, guys, you can, in a lot of cases, place a ceiling on the outside of something, and you can come through and place another thing. Uh, I think stone walls tend not to work. If I place this stone wall, I think it'll break the adobe. It doesn't always. So there are some materials that work together like this and some that don't. So you can get some really cool double layer things going on because guess what? Once I have that in place, I don't need this anymore. And that will stay there. So you can, like I said, you can do some neat things with this. I'll tell you how we're going to use it. We're going to get rid of this. And our key building piece is going to be this, the Adobe Fence Foundation. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, once our wall's in place, I'm going to do a whole line like this. Then we can come through with a painter. Um, and I want to give you guys a, a hint at the color scheme before we disappear and, and go do some serious wall building. So here is your paint sprayer. Now, most fence foundations cannot be painted. Whoops. Shoot, we'll repaint that later. Not the case with Adobe. So let's go ahead, and we might end up using brick instead of red, depending on how it looks. Um... While we're up here, yeah, let's do a whole let's do a whole section and let's try parchment as our sec. Actually, I want to go with tan. Let's try tan as our secondary color, and I'll go here and here and let's take these down because this is just test mode. So if if we're going tan, let's jump up and we'll spray paint the heck out of this stuff like that. So this would be your 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 test color scheme, and now we'd go back to the red if it's gonna look good for us. So let's try this, right? Boom. So from the distance, that is gonna have, I think, a Roman feel. The only question is, do we use this red? It looks a little pinkish. And um, it's the only color that worked well on the saddles, but I'm wondering, yeah, that might be the answer. That might be the answer. And then we might want a brighter color than that tan. So let's try around with brick and white, and we're going to see. This might be the answer. This is the most Roman it's looked yet. So you guys are going to need to see a lot more of it before uh, I can really show it off. But this is the game plan. I've showed you the technique. I am going to build a massive wall, and I think what I'm probably going to do is uh, a wood, um, whatchamacallit? I'm going to do a wo <laughs> uh, wooden ceiling up here, and on either side, I think I'm going to do some stone railings, um, but I'll bring you guys back for that segment. All I'll do for now is build walls all around this place on both sides using this technique, and if I'm feeling up for it, I'll slap the paint job on. So I'm going to take a real break this time, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this series, go ahead and share it. That thing has been slowly spreading the word, and the channel's growing, and like I said, new people stumbling on my Twitter, recognizing me playing Rocket League, and I'm going to be here. I'm going to be building. Art can give us whatever dinos they want, be it a horse, be it whatever, and I'm going to be building around those things, getting inspired, and hopefully getting you guys inspired too. So if you enjoy this series, tell your friends, share it, make a difference, help, help spread the word, and I'm going to get some serious work done on the outside of this Roman cavalry fort. I will be back. Geeks, this turned into an absolutely monstrous return to Ark Building Evolved. I got so carried away with this build, I didn't realize I was making two episodes in one. So this is the end of this one. There is another one coming your way on the same day, so we'll do a double episode, 10 and 11 on the same day. And in the second, in 11, you probably hear some references to number 10 or to the monster episode. You guys have been here till the very end of this 20 plus minute video and I hope you're enjoying the build. Don't go anywhere. The video that's going to pop up on your screen right now is going to take you immediately to part two. And there will also be a playlist for this entire series in case you are brand new to it. Leave a like, help spread the word on this series. I'm going to be back with the rest of this build in episode 11. Thank you for watching.